hey, I'm not sure if it's starting to record, but um, yeah, hi. I am Porita, and this is a review on medical parasitology by me, Porita. Um, this video will not last long. Um, I think 10 minutes would be the maximum that I will be uh, focusing on this video as I get bored easily as well. Um, so if I'm reviewing, I would just take 10 minutes, then stop and take 10 minutes again. So enough of that. This is a review on medical parasitology. Um, so we're going to start with what is parasitology. For both uh, bio students or med tech students or whatnot, those who are undergoing a study or a review on microbiology, this is just a uh, small review and it would be cut in pieces. So my first one is this, the introduction, then asterisk. So let's go on that. So the first one is, what is parasitology? According to the dictionary, which is Merriam-Webster, it's a branch of biology dealing with parasites and parasitism that may occur among human, plants, and animals. So, parang yung classmate mong mahilig mong hingi ng papel, ang tawag doon, parasite. Yun. E ano ba yung parasitology? Then, what are parasites? Parasites is an organism that lives independent to another organism without benefiting that organism they live off and causing it harm. Again, parang yung kaklase mong mahilig mang hingi ng papel. Ano yun? Yung kaklase mo dependent sa'yo sa paghingi ng papel pag may quiz. May naambag ba siya? Wala. Paano ka nakaharp na uubos yung papel mo? Ganun. Next is, we have this picture. These are samples of parasites. This one right here. This is a an ova. And this one right here. This is, if I'm not mistaken, Guardia lamlia. And this here is, I think it's a Plasmodium species or a Leishmania species or a Chypanosoma species. I'm pretty sure it's a blood-borne protozoa. And these little guys, I think they're just, you know, bacteria having fun in the red blood cells. So enough of that. Then we go, what is, what are medically important parasites in the Philippines? Well, to start off, you have what is called nematodes or the roundworms. They're usually what we call uod, and this is what usually comes out kapag nagbibi warning or kapag nagpukorga. Then you have cestodes, which are tapeworms. You have trematodes, which are flukes or leaf-like worms. And you have protozoa, which are your amoebas. Plasmodium, Plasmanias, and Trypanosomes. Next, we have here the nematodes. So, let's start off with the easier ones, which is the nematodes. It's mostly found in soil. Again, it's what we call uod. They are bilaterally symmetrical. So, kapag sinabi natin, Bilaterally symmetrical, it is what is on the left side should be seen on the right side. So, kunyari meron ka dito heart. Ay, kita. Saba. Kunyari, ito yung heart. When you say it's bilaterally symmetrical, ay, hindi derecho. Bilaterally symmetrical, what's on the left side should be on the right side. So, you have a lobe. And you have a point, you have another lobe, and you have another point. That's bilaterally symmetrical. Oh my gosh, nagugulo na ko. So, enough of that. Most have tapered ends. When you say tapered ends, they're like smooth and something like that. And they are non-hermaphroditic, or they have two sexes. 
which is just meal, meal, and meal. For meal and meal. Forgive the shortness of the what you call the pointer or something. And their mode of reproduction. What? Why am I having this anyway? Their mode of reproduction is through sexual reproduction. Because they are present in both sexes, which is the male and the female. And females are usually bigger than males. Um, a lot of animals do that, that females are much bigger than males. Uh, and anyway, because uh, they, they're the ones who reproduce. Anyway, so next up, we have our most common or most popular intestinal nematode, which is what you call Ascaris lumbricoides. Um, kapag social ka, thousand, it's Ascaris lumbricoides. And its common name is the giant intestinal roundworm. Again, ito yung nakikita, isa to dun sa mga nakikita kapag nagpupurga ang isang tao. Then you have its location, which is the small intestine. You have the transmission, it's the fecal oral drug. Ibig sabihin, when you ingest something that is contaminated with tetis na ibang tao. And you have the diagnostic stage, which is the ova found in the microscopic examination of stool. And your treatment, which is mebendazole, albendazole, parental pamoid and your infected stage is a fertilized ova. Going through that, we'll see what its morphology would be looking like. So this is and these are adult worms. This one is male, the other one is female. So I want you to take a look that the female has is always bigger. Although this diagram does not show it. The females are a lot bigger than the males. And the males have a spicule and that's what they use to uh, uh, impregnate the female through its genital genicophoric canal or genital fork here. So it has, look at this part, it has shy lips. That's the big nila and under an electron microscope this is what it would look like so yeah one two three three lips and with that how it moves is comparable to your tricuspid valves which is they move symmetric uh symmetrically they move all at once so this one lip is open the others are open then you have your ova or its eggs. So this is your unfertilized ova. It's usually seen in the intestines or in the stool samples. This is what you're gonna see excuse me, in the stool samples. Then why? Because they uh yeah, so life cycle. So this is what you see in the stool sample. This is ova. What you see sometimes in stool samples, but not usually, is because eggs don't get really fertilized in the stool. They get fertilized in the soil. Then you have here your life cycle. So please take note of those key elements, which is the diagnostic stage and the infective stage. So your infective stage is here right here. This is the embryonated ova na. So what happens or how does this life cycle work? This life cycle works when there is soil contact or transmitted through soil. So for example, this gentleman right here is a farmer. This farmer works in the farm obviously and when he ate he did not wash his hands properly and the ovus, these guys, 
got into the nooks and the crannies of his fingernails and Filipino mahilig magkamay. With that, papasok sa bibig niya yung ova and would go to the intestines. In the intestines, those ovas will hatch and they would become adults. Malamang sa malamang, they would populate and uh, this gentleman right here would poop. And he would poop unfertilized eggs on the soil. Kasi wala namang to toilet sa bukit. So, once he does that, these guys will begin to fertilize in the soil. And another unlucky gentleman who did not wash his hands properly would get infected with the same parasite. So, wash your hands, y'all. It's very important even in parasitology, not only in COVID. So, once you understand that, we're gonna go to what happens inside. So, they usually stay at the small intestine, right here. But these guys, medyo malikot sila. Makati yung cuticle kasi wala silang paa. So, they like traveling. So, what these guys do is they travel from the small intestine to the lung right here. This arrow right here. Through the hepatic portal vein. They would swim through the hepatic portal vein and they would go through the lungs. It's your, it's their migration. Then once they go through the lung, sometimes they do go through the heart as well. It's the heart lung migration. There are serious ascariasis that have ascaris in their heart. Kasi nga, malikot sila. And they're able to travel through the vessels. Once it's in the lungs, it goes up right here in your throat. And we do have a reflex that when we feel that something's about to go out of our throat, we tend to swallow. Willingly or unwillingly, then they do go back to the stomach. Then you poop them out. And again, the cycle continues with another unlucky person getting infected. So again, tip, wash your hands. So how does it look like? in an actual setting. Well, it does look like this one. This is a section of the colon, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, there. This is actually poop. And the reason why they remove this section of the colon is because of this blockage. Hindi na siya makapagdumi because of that. Hindi na yun siguro siya makakain na maayos because of that. There is an infestation of asterisk parasite. So with that, what else does it look like? Again, I told you kanina, there is heart lung migration and they do go up the throat and up the nose and this is what it looks like when that happens. Up the throat, up the nose. So if you have any more questions with regards to this, please do hit the comment button and ask me if you think there are improvements need to be made with this video. Do hit the comment and if you like it, please do like and subscribe for more review videos. Bye, this is Corina.